you mentioned a very disparate and very kind of eclectic approach and honestly of, the, of your entire journey. And, and it seems like there's a lot of hardships and a lot of truths and, you know, uh, conf- confrontations and stuff, but what did you learn most about yourself in that journey? Um, Cause it seems mm. like you had to go to Austin, Texas or, you know, and then change things and then do all this other stuff. Like, was it just yeah. progressing, moving forward? Like, what did you learn most about yourself during that journey? I think there's a lot of things. I think one, I, so I went, so I, my, in my first, I grew up in Austin, obviously I have, you know, foreign parents, but Mm -hmm. really kind of never like, it's just like the cult. I was always trying to be Texan in many ways, right. Cause I felt like culturally very different. Sure. Um, you know, I tried to force myself to like football and things like that, which is huge in Texas. Like it is the King. Yeah. 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 Never got into it. (laughs) Never enjoyed a tailgate. No, no, no. <laughs> so I think like the first big thing I learned was actually, so I spent and spent a year in Sweden and decided on Sweden because it was the most kind of culturally different place I could think of from Texas, socialized healthcare system, super cold, like not materialistic. Right. And I think that helped me see where I thought things were consonants in terms of, uh, or constants in terms mm-hmm. of like just the way people thought about things were actually variables, right? Mm, um, yep. mm-hmm. And so just seeing variables where once everything was constant was just a huge realization and like many of like the preconceived biases and like uh, actually incorrect frameworks that I had that which applied to me a lot. So that was a really big one. I think one of the big things I learned working with longevity fund um, was the like what depth of understanding actually looked like. Uh, mm-hmm. I uh, had done a lot of learning in terms of getting good grades and studying and like MCAT and stuff like that. But working with Laura and actually having a depth of understanding and a responsibility for the outcome, you need to have that depth to have the outcome, right? Like you can pass the test, but it doesn't mean you can develop a drug Mm -hmm. type thing. That was a huge learning and also leaning into uh, my intelligence, which I never did because it also made me uncool at UT Austin to like study on a Friday night, at least (laughs) in the circles I ran in. Um, And I think the thing I learned at Oxford was like, uh, how much of hierarchy and structure is like meant for control and how much of it is like fake. And I, I uh, yeah. it's a little bit of a longer and somewhat sad story, but kind of uh, I've written about this before that I had a, a person in power over me at Oxford who was uh, harassed me and was terrible. And it, it was terrible for many reasons, but I think it was actually like very foundational because it just made me realize that this person was just like not better than me like he did it because he was insecure he did it because mm. he was trying to control me uh, and he I was more competent to him than him despite the fact that I was like underneath him in like this artificial ranking of academia uh and it just it just like and I remember I got in trouble for like talking to somebody like two levels above me instead of one level and it was just like all these little things just made me realize um all, I don't know it's like when you're like immigrant family like you kind of grow up and like you love the rules, like the rules are mm. a path to a guaranteed six figure salary and all these things, which when you don't have that, it's like a really big deal. And like realizing how much of that actually, like, it doesn't matter if you want to be a doctor, right? right but it doesn't necessarily right. matter if you want to be like what I'm there's, doing now. There's power dynamics at play. Yeah. There's politics, there's all kinds of information streams. Yeah. 